What's going on everyone? Today we are in Burleson, Texas at Palm Harbor Homes and we're getting ready to check out, I think a first for me, a Cavco home. I don't think I've ever toured one before. So that's pretty exciting. This is a model 28563 uniform and it is a, as we're gonna to be touring it, it's actually a four bedroom, two bath, but it does also have an option for a three bedroom, two bath, if that's something that you wanted. Uh, I'll point that out once we get in there. Uh, but this one is 1,492 square feet and it has a price tag of approximately $116,000. It's a very nice, very beautiful day. I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, you know, it's sky's blue, at least here in Texas anyway. It's not hot, which is nice. Uh, Texas coming down here, you know, we thought it was gonna be, we were like, oh yeah, let's, let's start off this year long journey across the country in Texas. Well, technically we started in Tennessee, but you know, Texas in the springtime, we figured it'd be blistering hot down here. And then we'd go up north during the summertime where it's a little cooler, but wrong. <laughs> it's, been, it's been quite chilly, uh, except for San Antonio was, we had some warm days, but here in North Texas, it's been, uh, it's been quite pleasant. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Anyway, all right, before we get inside, if you would like any more information on this model or any of the models that we've toured across the country, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. All right. Yeah, we've, uh, I'm, I'm filming 14 homes today. So quite a bit. Um, I think we're about halfway through right now. I had to stop and charge the phone a little bit, upload a video, but, uh, I mean, man, I've just been having so much fun. Uh, you know, just, we've been, we've been pushing out some videos both on, on both of the channels. You know what I mean? I think we're up to six videos a day which is just craziness but it's just been so much fun and all the people especially here at palm harbor they've been super nice to us too anyway when you do first walk in this is kind of what you're greeted with this nice big spacious living room it smells good in here too i always that's probably one of my favorite things i love coming into these homes and just like if they smell good you know it's going to be a good tour you know what i mean but a great big living room and then it's super fun i love this this is i definitely kind of like a little modern i mean i know you can buy this and this is just this isn't actually part of the home but the dining room space in here is pretty cool i like how they did it it's like you're sitting at a diner or something you know what i mean really nice but coming into the kitchen area, sits right next to the dining room space. You got a little outlet over here, so you could put like a little buffet or a little rolling bar if you wanted to. You got a nice little island right here in the middle. And it's got it's got good counter space, you know what I mean? But on either side, this could be like a little breakfast bar. You got stools on the far side, you can put stools on this side too. Got some outlets. And then along the back wall, looking out towards the back of the home, you've got the main kitchen area, got this nice stainless sink looking out this window. Look at that too, you got all the trees and the grass and everything. You could almost imagine as if you're on your own piece of property. And then you got the dishwasher next to that. Check out these drawers. Not soft clothes, but I'm sure that's something you could upgrade to. Got some wood shelves in here. Then you got the stove and the range hood, little openness up above it. And all of the cabinets, uh, they're all open. So you can put some decorations up there if you wanted to. There's not a lot of them, but then there's also some space back behind us where you got like a little breakfast, not breakfast, go coffee station. That is, so I have not been a big coffee drinker in my life. I just haven't. I've tried it a few times, you know, early 20s or whatever but uh up until recently me and jen have been she's big into coffee and she got me 
she's got me going on all types of different coffee things to the point now where I have a cup in the morning, might have a cup in the afternoon, and you know, in the evening when we're settling down, we got a cup too. Washer dryer hookups. I know I get to talking too much. Then you got a little cutout right here. Now maybe you could put some shelves, turn this into a pantry area, or you could put like a table or something there. A number of things. It's just wide open back here. You've got the furnace, and then you've got another little cutout back here too. Put some, maybe your shoes, because we've got the back door back behind us, so this could be like a little mudroom area. I keep wanting to sneeze. They got uh, like these little seedlings floating around in the air outside. I think it's getting to me. Anyway, uh, coming down to the secondary bedrooms, this is the first full bathroom. So you got the single vanity, toilet, and a shower and tub combo. And then back behind us, so this right here, this room is the optional fourth bedroom. I think you can expand this out. I was living, I have to look at the plan again, I don't remember. But this one you could do away with if you only wanted three bedrooms. And then into its closet. And then across the hall, you've got another bedroom. This one sits towards the back of the home. Another nice closet in here. And shoot, I bet, I bet that drops the price a little bit. If this one's already, what did I say, 119,000? I think that's right. If that's wrong, <laughs> whatever I said at the beginning was accurate. But uh, man, Talk about super affordable for a three bedroom home. That's ridiculous. We used to, I used to look, you know, when I was putting up homes, like mod, mostly modular and manufactured homes on the main channel, man, it was relentless when it came to people just saying, oh man, you can get a site built home for that money. And I'll tell you right now, cause we're looking, you cannot. It is insane how expensive everything is. Now, I'm sure you could get like a cheaper site built house if you're like right up on somebody, you know what I mean? And you don't have yard space and you don't care about that. But when it comes to, I mean, just putting a place, having like a half an acre, oh my goodness, it is crazy. We had our hopes set up on a, a few homes and, uh, well, once we got our pre-approval letter, we quickly realized that um, how expensive everything was. I know I'm talking a lot, but I'm sure you can you can just take it all in. But you know, when I when I bought my first house, I paid it was like 1,800 square feet, uh, three bedroom, two bath, and it was two thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars, I think, is what I paid for it, and that was on half an acre. You know what I mean? And then I think two years later, we sold it for almost 320, 330, something along those lines. And then from there, you know, shoot, I thought I was top in the market, but <laughs> this stuff just keeps climbing. Anyway, I know I talked a lot in this one, uh, not about the home, but hopefully you still enjoyed it. If you do want any more information on this model, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your state. We have a little filter, so anything that pops up uh, in your state is available there or can be available there. Uh, you can also filter by price, square footage, number of bedrooms, all that fun stuff. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the tour. As always, my name is Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.